quite remember. Um, but where we left off, we had basically just woken up in like some weird like cabin place. Uh, and now I'm trying to find Cassandra and them to figure out what the hell is going on. And I apologize for my absence this week. Um, I ended up hurting my back. If you don't follow me on any form of like social media or anything, uh, I do try to update anything of like my condition or anything like that. And it just, it sucked. And not being able to record also sucked. It put me in a really bad place. But I'm back. And we're back with specifically Dragon Age Inquisition. Jane her. I want her prepared for travel to the capital for trial. How about no? Disregard that and leave us. Yeah, she got my back. You walk a dangerous line, she kept it. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. That's right. Uh I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Yet you live. A convenient result in so far as you're concerned. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. I don't like Someone him. was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone Most Holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others. Or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You. And many others. But not the prisoners. I heard the voices in the temple. The divine called to her for help. So her survival, that thing on her hand, is all a coincidence. Providence. The maker sent her to us in our darkest hour. Uh... Sorry, dude. You uh -oh. realize I'm a mage. I have not forgotten. No matter what you are or what you believe, you are exactly what we needed when we needed it. The breach remains, and your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will yeah. close the breach. We will find those responsible and we I will like her armor. With the black and red, your... very romantic looking. The setting is nice too. This is the divine's directive. Rebuild the inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader, no numbers. And now, no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. When I woke up, I certainly didn't picture this outcome. Neither did we. Help us fix this before it's too late. Yeah. I feel all noble and shit. Normally I play like kind of the chaotic neutral characters. And I think I've explained this before in one of the Fallout videos. Maybe I explained it earlier in one of these episodes. But I kind of like really kind of fending for myself. Especially when I don't know the characters. Because when I played Skyrim. And I'm sure everybody's played Skyrim at this point. Uh, if not, Thieves Guild quest spoilers I guess. When I played through the Thieves Guild quest. I was really, I guess hoping that the storyline was what it seemed to be and then it turned out you know really the bad guy is the head is uh mercer and like he wants to do everything he's the one who killed gallus and yeah it's it was just a big mess so i've just pretty much ever since then it's just been like uh eh, let's let's play it by ear let's let's worry about number one <laughs> and in most bethesda games that's a really okay route to go with you don't have to necessarily go with everybody and that's probably going to be something I try to do with Fallout 4, because I'm kind of regretting it now. I might do, like, another game in my spare time where I try to, you know, get the pure neutral ending. Where I don't join anybody, where I don't, like, you know, mess with that stuff. And everybody's, you know, getting along. I don't have to join anything. And see if I can do that. I've heard it's not, like, really, like, not, like, hard, but it's not easy either. 
Like, you have to make sure that you're paying attention to what, like, quests you're taking, what, make sure you're not answering the wrong things. And tend to, when I play video games, I kind of click a lot through dialogue. So, if I do, I'm going to have to do a separate character where I have to be very careful about my choices. This is a lot of just cinematics right now. At least I'm filling the, the dead space of no dialogue. I really like that armor. I, I wish I could have that armor. In real life, actually. Maybe I should make that. I think I could pull off that haircut, right? Right? Are you fucking kidding me? Just that was the introduction. Just that... We're on episode three, and I'm just now getting to the introduction. I am actually really ashamed of myself. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that blows. Fuck. That's a long introduction. Like, I'm not, like, mad about it. It, it was definitely entertaining. It just took me... When was my last episode of this? Like nearly two Does weeks just to get through the introduction alone? This just seems like a little much to me. Um Not really. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Mm. I can't help it. What harm could there be in powering up something we barely understand? Hold on to that sense of humor. Yay, I got a positive remark for that one. I kind of like being sar- I'm normally very sarcastic and cheesy You've in normal Commander conversations, Cutler. so I tend to try and put a little bit of myself into each character I do. It was only for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. This is she's Lady cute. Josephine Montpellier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. Oh, and she's cute. I've heard much. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Oh, that and of accent. Course you know mm. Sister Liliana. Mm. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spy master. Yes. Tactfully put, Cassandra. That's an impressive bunch of titles. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Yeah, he was. He was in Dragon Age Origin. I tried to flirt with him, and he got embarrassed, and he ran away. It was really cute. Actually, now that I'm thinking about that, it's really making me want to just kind of, like, slowly, like, try to flirt with him again. Um. That didn't take long. Uh, it's funny. Who's going to become divine? Some are calling you, a mage, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chancellor. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy. And we, heretics, are harboring them. Oh, Chancellor no. Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the mages or Templars for help. She's Currently all dressed all fancy dancy too. Uh just how am I the herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading. Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? Hmm. I don't mind it at all. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that has gone wrong. They aren't more concerned about the breach, the real threat. 
They do know it's a threat. They just don't think we can stop it. The Chantry is telling everyone we'll make it work. Bastards. There is something we can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. Ooh. She is not far and knows those involved. Yeah, came back to the gameplay. That's what I'm waiting for. Be invaluable. Um. Why would someone from the Chantry help a declared heretic? I understand she's a reasonable sort. Perhaps she does not agree with her sisters. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. I like her accent. There's something about it that just the Inquisition's influence just runs just right. We need agents to extend our reach beyond Leaf Valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. I like how Dragon Age goes about this. Like they, they really do do this like a D&D campaign. Like I actually have to go out. I have to actually talk to people, recruit them, hope that, you know, I have a t technically a high enough charisma to do it. What have your ears heard, Liliana? It's it's such a and d thing. And I guess to me that just comes second nature because we play Dungeons and Dragons every Wednesday at my house. So for me, this is just kind of like second nature. I got worried something was about to happen. I can't tell if something's about to happen. Is that girl on our side or on like bad people's side? Boom, boom, boom. I just take them all with me because who who doesn't like to be surrounded by very attractive people? But yeah, being gone and not being able to record was it really put a toll on my how I felt like effectively. I didn't I wasn't able to cook, I wasn't really able to clean. Today has been the first day in a long time that I've been able to actually do laundry. Given our laundry hasn't gotten bad in the short amount of time that I've been down. It just still bugs me when my laundry hamper ends up getting full because I spent so much time trying to make sure it was never full that it just pretty much became a chore, literally, to even try and do laundry because in, in our previous washer dryer unit, we couldn't do anything. It just, it just didn't work out. But being back feels good for the short amount of time. Rules of Andraste. Ooh. I've heard the stories. Well, they just throw has. me right into it. You know what you did at the breach. Everyone's a little nervous around mages right now, but you'll get no backtalk here. That's a promise. Inquisition Scout Harding at your service. I, and all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. The fuck's going on Are in the background? Ever been to Kirkwall's Hightown? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, never mind. Ugh. Mm, we'll be nice. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should get to business. The situation's pretty dire. We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horse master. I grew up here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostback. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war spread there, too. Corporal Bale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. She was kind of cute. Oh, so I, <laughs> I haven't really got to tell you guys, but in my spare time, I make secondary characters. And in, like, those moments of secondary characters, I, you know, go a little crazy with the character customization, see what I can do. Well, I made an elf character. <laughs> she, she does archery, because I told you guys before, I'm always between mage and archery, so I had to make sure I had a balance. And, uh, I ended up making her look like a female Kylo Ren. Uh, but yeah, actually, give me just a second, guys. 
All right, sorry about that. I had to go pick up Kara from practice because she's doing awesome, cool theater thing. But we are back. We're gonna find this uh, this Mother Giselle lady. Ooh. Gathering resources like a boss. Oh, hey, they're bad guys. <laughs> Should I be worried about that? A little bit. Inquisition forces. They're trying to protect the refugees. Looks like I could use a hand. Boom, 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 boom. boom. I do not think they care. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> that was nice. Loot the bodies. Loot the bodies. And next fight. Let's do some fire stuff. Now let's do some lightning stuff. Did anybody else here just form up? Like I was, I'm pretty sure the Wonder Twins just decided to pop up. Shock stuff. Boop, boop, boop. And some fire stuff. I, I got a little, got a little carried away. More yeah. coming our way. No shit. I, don't, I can see the red dot. I know they coming. And we'll do some lightning stuff. And some ice stuff. Alright. Since we got them nice and cold, let's warm them right back up. There we go. Almost got it. We'll just give a nice little shock. Ah, this guy's got a magic dispel shield. I don't like him already. I'm gonna kill you. We are victorious once more. Ha ha. Nice. Another cinematic scene. I don't know what it is with this game and so many cinematics. I like how nobody says anything. Light it. Don't. Don't touch me, mother. Their magic is. Turn to noble Sansa. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? Uh, hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. Yeah, don't be classes. Mother Giselle. I am. And you must be the one they are calling. The Herald of Andraste. Mm. I'm be told cool. you asked for me. I know of the Chantre's denouncement, and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new divine. Some are simply terrified. So many good people. Sense of protecting the honor. What happened was horrible. Fear makes us desperate, but hopefully not beyond your reason. Go to them. Convince the remaining clerics you are no demon to be feared. They have heard only frightful tales of you. Give them something else to do. That won't just make it worse. Because you are a mage. That too. Let me put it this way. You needn't convince them yet. You just need some of them to doubt. Their power is their unified voice. Take that from them and you will see the time you need. Hmm. 
It's good of you to do that. I honestly don't know if you've been touched by spirits, or sent to help us, but I hope. Hope is what we need now. The people will listen to your rallying call, as they will listen to no other. You could will the Inquisition into a force that will deliver us, or destroy us. I will go to Haven, and provide Sister Leliana remains of those in the Sanctum, who will be amenable to Adele Royal. And if not much, that I will do whatever I can. Cool. No pressure. None at all. None. It's not like I hold the fate of the, you know, entire country in my hands. Awesome. Corporal Vale is coordinating um, the Inquisition's efforts in the area. We should speak let's see. to him. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to end this one right here because we basically just opened up two new quests. We're in a new area and we're going to start doing more, I believe, in this area from what I'm presuming. Unless it's going to be like the introduction and just be like, boom, 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 new area out of nowhere, new area out of nowhere. Which hopefully they don't do that because that was something I did not like about Dragon Age Origin. Um, was the consistent jumping around, no like staying in one area, actually, you know, investing in the story there, ending up in another. Like, I kind of want to take my time. But... Let me get let me know what you guys think as I stutter once again. Uh, like if I did good, dislike if I did eh. Comment if you guys think it's you know a little dragged on. Do you guys want me to start cutting cinematic scenes? Uh, do I need to start cutting you know action scenes? What do you guys want to see? Let me know how I can you know make this more entertaining. Or do you like it as it is? Do I just need to leave it alone and just let it grow and prosper on its own? Um, but hopefully this will be uploaded at normal time. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. And subscribe if you want to see more. Join the Horde today, and I will see you guys 